Okay, uh, this is the second part of the cash flow statement for 2014. So on the first one, I did my rough work and I came up with this here. Notice I've made one small mistake uh, and I've just moved it. So I put the uh, depreciation expense in uh, the disposal and vice versa. So I've corrected that. So now what I'll do is, as with any normal question, I'm going to take the numbers I've got. I've got my basic structure here of it. Okay, I'll take the numbers uh, that I've just worked out from my rough work and put it at the right place. So I spent 75 grand purchasing fixed assets, and uh, when I disposed of machinery here, I got a trade in, I got 30 grand trade in. So if I go to um, disposal of fixed assets, I'll have um, I got 30 grand for disposing of fixed assets, purchased fixed assets, I spent 75 grand. I bought fixed assets. Um, the profit or loss on disposal uh, was 25. So uh, in uh, profit and sale fixed assets, so we made a loss, so that was a minus 25. Uh, so that minus 25 means we made a loss, so that would have reduced our profit. So if we take that out, we have to turn that into a plus 25, because that the cash generated. Uh, sorry, the, the profit, if we hadn't mentioned that loss of six ass, uh, fixed assets, our profit would have been more, and therefore our cash would have been more. So we treat that as a plus number. The other thing has to go in here as our depreciation expense, which is a total of 60. So that again would have, it's an expense, so it would have reduced our profit. So if I take out that non-cash expense, it becomes a plus 60. Okay. So, uh, Again, we have the basic structure of the document. Um, we'll go and have a look at the rest of this bit here, and then we'll move on from there. So, uh, stock. Stock was 192, so stock has now gone up by 23 grand. So if we have more stock, that means we're going to have more cash tied up in stock, so we have less cash available. That's stock. Then we have uh, debtors. So debtors was 170, now debtors has gone up by eight. So that means I'm owed eight grand more. So because I'm owed eight grand more, it means I have eight grand less cash. Um, so, and then we look at our creditors. Trade creditors was 285, now it's 290. So I owe five grand more. So I'm not using up as much cash in paying off the money that I owe. So that's a, a plus number, okay? Uh, so, our operating profit, and we have interest and all that. Okay, so the operating profit for the year is 185. So if I add all these together, I'll get cash from operations. And that goes down there. Okay, so in this case, it's a cash. Oh, no, sorry, that doesn't go there. Goes over here. Uh, okay. Now I'll take my interest, uh, etc. So the taxation paid we had was forty, so it's a minus. Uh, the interest expense was thirteen, so that's a minus. Um, dividends was sixty. Uh, dividends paid. And that again is minus, that's me spending money. Okay, so uh, net cash before uh, financing and before liquid resources, just so we understand, is where I transfer money between different types of bank accounts. So the, the opening cash that we're talking about in our bank account is only uh, the money we have in our normal current account, but we may use other savings accounts for spare cash. So if I add up uh, what I have here, so the ca net cash inflow from operations minus the amount spent and uh, the money we got for selling our fixed assets, and we get 86. So, managing liquid resources, did I use up some of my money by transferring money into a, some kind of different bank account and financing? Did I uh, issue shares uh, or did I uh, maybe pay off some of my dividends? So, let's have a look here. So, uh, I don't see any special types of bank accounts here okay long-term ones but i do see we've got a government security so this is 20 grand that i took out of 
um, uh, I took 20 grand out of my current account and transferred into government security. So purchase of, I'm going to just change the name of that now. So purchase of securities. And we spent 20 grand on that. And I noticed that I had a quote, a quote of investments at cost. They were 30, they're 50. So that means I must have invested 20 grand on my investments. So go back to purchase of fixed assets. So that means another 20 grand. So I have minus 95 was now spent on uh, buying fixed assets. Um, so financing, did I get any money for selling shares? So I had 670 uh, here in shares, now about 690. So that means 24,000 or 20,000 shares was issued plus an extra four grand was paid in share premium. So we received 24 grand, so that's a plus figure. Now, what about our loans? Yeah, our loans were 240, now they're 160. So that means we paid off uh, 80 grand in loans, so that's gonna be a minus. So um, so paying off, or they might call it redeeming the venture. So that's a minus 80 grand. Okay, so the decrease in cash then, so so I start at my cash before financing and add everything down to that 80 grand that I have there for um, paying off my debenture. So my decrease in cash is 10 grand. So my uh, cash, I just need to see, cash at the beginning is three, okay, here. Let's just we can see. So cash at the beginning. Let's just say because I have a ca a bank as well. So I had no bank, uh, no money in the bank there, and I had three grand in cash at the beginning, and now I have four grand in the bank. Sorry, I have four grand in cash, and I the bank is owed three. Let's just give this chance. So cash we had three, and we had uh, money in the bank of five. So that's a total of eight. Now, how much do we have at the end? So three and five is eight in the bank at the beginning. Uh, we have four grand in cash and we owe six. So that means we're minus two overall. So we have four and we owe six. So we now have minus two in cash and bank. So that means we are, cash has gone down by minus 10. We had eight at the beginning and now we've got uh, minus two. So therefore it's 10. So that part of it works and so let's move on here to this so decrease in cash during the period is minus 10 and what has happened to change our indebtedness this is what this bit here is all about so are we more or less in debt than we were in the beginning is what we're trying to do so what has happened to uh, either uh, money here that we owe in debentures or um, maybe money that might have been transferred out of our normal cash and bank account into something else during the year to make us more in debt or less in debt. So we had 240 grand uh, debt at the beginning. We now have 60. So we've improved our indebtedness situation by 80, which is a plus figure. So I may need to squeeze in an extra line here, I think, because I think there might be two entries. Okay, so uh, we redeemed or paid off uh, our debenture, which has improved uh, our cash situation. So that's 80. And that was a plus figure. And the other thing then, uh, we then transferred 20 into government securities. So we had no government securities at the beginning and that's transferred into new bank account. We don't deal with this because this is like an investment, okay? This is just moving money from our cash account or bank account into another type of bank account. We treat government securities like that. So we have government securities. Um, and we spent 20 grand, so that has improved our cash position. So changing that debt is adding up all of those numbers. So, oh, no, maybe I'll save that one. So 
So we are now 90 grand less in debt than we were at the beginning. So now the net debt here, this is how much we, how much debt we had at the beginning compared to the debt we had at the end. So the debt we have at the beginning is so we start off with, we have 240 grand in loans and then we have money in bank accounts. I'm just going to just move this to make this a little bit easier to see everything at the same time. So at the beginning, we had a minus of 240 because that's the loans that we had there. Uh, now let's look and see. Uh, we have three and five uh, in cash and bank, so that's their plus plus three and plus five is their current assets, and we had no government securities there at the time. Okay, so that's that's at the beginning. Oops, that's right. Okay, uh, our net debt at the end. So we owed uh, 160 grand in our debenture. We owe another six in our bank. We have four grand in cash, and we have government securities of 20. So that's 142. So the movement net debt, we were 232 in debt. Now let's just get our minuses and pluses right here. So I think we start off with that number, and we take away 232. So our indebtedness has improved from uh, by plus 90, which is the proof of the overall. So, just to expand that out. So, we started off, we do our rough work first, lay out the blank document for the rough work. The only extra thing that might be in here is you might have interest received. Um, lay out your blank document for this here. I'd leave three or four lines for the headings for capital expenditure and investment. Um, because one of the ones that we had in here was we bought fixed assets, we bought I think land and buildings, but we also bought investments. We need to include that as well. Um, so lay out a blank document, uh, stick your numbers in. If you have time, do the maths at the end, uh, but only do that at the very end. I hope that makes sense to you.